Hi everybody, long time no see. I took a little leave from YouTube personally while the Potida videos were airing and after YAGP and the gala and the whole thing. So we are back, howdy. One of the things you guys have been requesting lately is a favorites video, which we're gonna do today. The problem with me with a favorites video is that I am a creature of habit and so there's not a lot of like, oh, I've suddenly changed ballet shoes, like wearing the same stuff. But I will be revealing what point shoes Josephine Lee fit me in, so stay tuned for that. But before we get into the favorites video, I just wanna let you guys know that we have opened up a second week for the KM and Friends, Catherine Morgan and Friends adult summer intensive. The July one sold out in less than two weeks, so we have opened up a week in August. Um, this is for adults only, dancers 18 and up. All levels are welcome. It will be August 15th through the 19th. And that is actually my birthday week. So if you wanna come spend my birthday with me and dance and do all the things and have the best week in Huntington Beach, California, which is where the July one is being held, I'll put all the info in the box below. Come join us. We'd love to have you. It is filling up quickly, so I highly encourage you to look at it and sign up if you can quickly because spots are filling up. But we are doing a second adult week of intensive. So, all information in the box below. So getting into the favorites video, we might as well start off with the burning question of what you guys are all asking. And that is what point shoes I am wearing. Um, Josephine, drum roll please, fit me in the Nikolai Stream Point. If you missed that video, I will link it in a card and below but she fit me in these. I absolutely love them. I never thought I'd be in this type of shoe just because the training I have, but I actually have a foot that works perfectly for this. I'm in the widest size because I got big feet, but they are the Nikolai Stream Points. Now, however, having said that, one of the reasons we didn't tell you in that video is because it's so important to find the shoe that works for you. You guys, you can't say, oh, Catherine's wearing those, so I'm gonna wear those. You still have to find what works for you. A lot of dancers, these don't work for, I've been told that. I like them because they're a really light shoe. I like practically a ballet slipper. Um, when I'm dancing, a lot of dancers prefer a harder shoe, so if you like a lighter shoe, these might not work for you, but they are the Nikolai Stream. I wore them, these are pancaked. I wore them for Carousel in the YHP Gala recently and love them. It was like, finally, I don't have to fight a shoe to dance. I don't know, just absolutely love them. Nikolai Stream, I know you guys have been asking, that's what I'm wearing. I've performed in them. Absolutely adore them. While we're on the subject of ballet favorites, obviously I have to plug the Catherine Morgan Spring Hall Leotard by Active Royale. It's gorgeous and reversible. Um, if you missed that video, I'll also link it in a card and below. But very springtime colored um, and two for the price of one. But I, I genuinely love it, it's super comfortable. What I really love is somehow the way they did the legs, they don't dig, so you don't get like a, a lump. It's really nice. So um, loving the spring Catherine Morgan Hall leotard. Worn it several times, in fact. Um, and my last ballet favorite for now are the Bodil sauna pants. I've mentioned them before, but this is my go-to warm up. I absolutely love them, I wear them all the time. Um, they are so high quality, so well made. They also have a romper now, Bodil Sauna Pants and Bodil Sauna Romper. Highly recommended. The nice thing about these is I put them in a laundry bag, like the little zip up laundry bag, and I just wash them and then hang them to dry. So I don't have to hand wash them because I wear them a lot and they do get smelly and I just, like if you don't wash them, it's gross. <laughs> so I will wash them in the washing machine on delicates in a laundry bag so nothing like um, by themselves so that nothing gets them and that's how you clean them and hang them up to dry. Super easy. Okay, now let's get into some non-ballet items. Something I have been completely obsessed with lately, no they are not sponsoring this, this video, but I have a coupon code for you for $10 off if you want it. I don't know if, if any of you have heard of this, but chat books. Chatbooks is this service that will print your photos either directly from your phone, from Instagram, you can make different albums. So for example, I did one of all of our engagement photos. So um, it's just purely our engagement pictures for Chris and I. I wanted to have them in an album, um, you know, 
just by themselves. So I did an engagement one. I did one of photos from Carousel recently. Chris and I went on a little trip to San Francisco. I did one for that, like all of our vacation pictures just in one book. And, you know, and it's super easy, so high quality. They start at $15, so they're very reasonable. You can hardcover, softcover, however many pages, whichever size, different colors. Obviously, I did white on this one, blue on this one. Um, I did one of the day we started dating. And then I did one of the day we got engaged. So I'm kind of obsessed. And it's nice because then they sit on the shelf like this. And they all look very nice together on the shelf. Um, because I've tried to do myself like in the past, like memory keeping or not even scrapbooking, but just like I've tried and print out and da da da. I never stick with it. Let's be honest. It's like I never stick with a planner nowadays. I do it all virtually. This literally, you put your photos, you upload it, you put it how you want it, and it prints. And you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to sort of memory keep all of our trips. Um, I've done one that's still on its way here of the day we got engaged, as well as our first year together. I want to kind of do like our first year, our second year kind of thing. And the, these are the 8x8, which is my favorite size. Um, and they just sit on the shelf beautifully and they look nice. So chat books. I have a coupon code link for you to get $10 off. It's in the box below if you want to try chat books. So it can literally make your book first book like five bucks if you want to try it. Um, not sponsored, but I will link them in the box below to get $10 off. So while we're on the book train, um, there are two ballet related books that I want to mention and these are not fictional stories these are books that kind of dig into the ballet world if you're into that if you really are interested in not just the history of ballet but quite frankly the issues of ballet which I think you all know I've spoken about time and time again on here so there are two that I want to introduce you to the first one is called ballet class an American History by Melissa R. Clapper. And basically this really dives deep into ballet in America and how things happened and the state of American ballet and just how we kind of got to where we are basically. Um, for example, the chapters include first movements like ballet class 101 if you need to know ballet class and then the hit trouble of history and race in ballet in America. Um, boys in ballet, stuff like that, ballet bodies. This kind of digs deep into it, as does the second one called Turning Point by Chloe Angel. And I've had the pleasure of speaking with Chloe, and she's interviewed me before. And this is basically a book on how ballet needs to save itself and how it's trying to save itself, basically. Um, and like what, what so many of us have gone through what little girls have gone through. It's like I've talked about before, like you start ballet because you love it and it's joyous and then by the end, you know, you end up hating it and how, how we get there. So for example, chapters include ballet runs on moms, you know, tolerance for pain, turnout, burnout, ballet bodies. Like again, these are not like ballet's wonderful. Let's pink tutus and tiaras. These both kind of dig into it. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend both of these books um, because I think it's super important nowadays. And ballet does need to move forward with the times, diversify all the things to, quite frankly, save itself. So those are two books I highly recommend. So let's get into some beauty favorites, something I've been completely obsessed with that I actually don't know if I've mentioned on here before. Um, Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream. Now, a lot of people, this is sort of a cult favorite, a lot of people use it just as a moisturizer. I have been mixing it with both my foundation and concealer lately because as I've gotten older, for whatever reason, maybe it's because I live in Utah as well, my skin has gotten drier and sometimes when foundation goes on, it just cakes or sits or doesn't blend. I've started mixing a tiny bit of this. I just, on the back of my hand, foundation, concealer, whatever, with a little bit of this, it goes on like a dream. Like, it truly does. I don't know what she's got in this stuff, but <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I don't use it just as a moisturizer. I mix it with makeup products. 
and it just sits and blends and glides and it actually helps it stay better for me. It doesn't start to cake or run or dry. I've got it on right now with my current foundation and concealer and it just kind of all blends really beautifully. Now, I don't know how this would work for you if you have oily skin, I'm not sure. Um, you might have to err on the side of caution with it, but if you're combination or slightly on the dry side, this makes makeup products go on so much better. It is a little bit pricey, but highly, highly worth it. Like I'm even planning on using this for my wedding just to like, I don't know, it photographs, pre I don't know what's in this stuff, but I don't care. The other thing that is not pricey that I've been sort of my go-to lipsticks, I have it on right now, the L'Oreal Color Riche. And the one I have on right now, their drugstore, is the Classic Wine. And it's that's, that's what I have on now. Um, I find them to be very, um, not terribly matte, but not so glossy that it's like, it's kind of in the middle of glossy and matte. Um, more of a velvet kind of feel. Very, very bold colors, um, very pigmented colors. And they have so many of them. I mean, you could spend like 20 minutes just looking at all the colors in the drugstore. But they're a very, very inexpensive lipstick. And they, I've kind of been going to them lately, just more and more. And I have it on today. Um, I want the classic wine today. I, I also have British Red and Wisteria Rose. So those are the three that I have. Drugstore lipsticks, L'Oreal Color Riche. Really, really great. Just like standard, good pigment, good formula. Love them. Um, my other thing that I've gone to lately, being that I've been doing a lot of traveling lately between YAGP and other things that will be announced on here soon, stay tuned, we've been traveling a lot. And so I, my go-to travel bag is my Kate Spade travel bag. I probably have mentioned this on here before, but I've kind of become a Kate Spade snob. I wait till they're on sale. They have a sale. They have sales a lot. Um, but I got this a couple years ago. It's still doing well. It's a little bit stained at this point. I could probably wash it and it'd be fine. But I don't know. Kate Spade is my go-to these days. Traveling, purses, I kind of only have Kate Spade. Um, they hold up really well. Actually, you know when I got this? I got this um, the day I did I'm Old Fashioned in Miami. So that was 2019. I've had this for several years and it still looks great. So Kate Spade are my go-to travel bags purses, crossbody, backpacks, all of it. And honestly, they have sales a lot, so you don't have to pay full price. Just wait till they go on sale. I also hate paying full price, so just, just wait. It'll be worth it. The final thing, you all know I am, I love my heels. Like, I'll do a very simple dress, but like a statement heel. I do it a lot for YAGP. Not so much this year at finals because I had to dance, so that was a whole different thing. But with uh, you guys know I love my heels. And if I wasn't a dancer, I'd wear them 24 seven. My absolute favorite go-to heel, and I gotta bend down and get them, hold on, um, is that I have probably way too many colors of is the Sam Edelman Hazel, Hazel Pump. I have them in so many colors. It's kinda sad, <laughs> but this is like the standard pointed toe classic pump that I wear all the time, like all the time. Um, they're comfortable. A lot of other heels uh, just kill me within five minutes. These don't because they're not exceptionally high. I don't know how many inches they are. I'd say possibly three, three and a half, four at most. Um, they're not super, super high, but they're just classic. They're absolutely classic. These are the um, suede pumps. Then I have my my animal print, my snake print, um, you know, they're just so great. I have some leather ones too. Classic. I go for classic. I don't do like big funky heels. I can't, first of all. Second of all, these are like nine times out of ten when you see me in a heel, that's what these are. These are the Sam Edelman Hazel Pumps. I think they're having a sale right now. So I'll link it below. <laughs> If you're interested so those are the favorites you guys once again um, chat book coupon if you're interested in the box below if you want to join us for the August summer intensive it's in the box below love you all so very much we are getting back to consistent videos lots of exciting stuff coming soon can't wait to tell you so stay tuned uh, if you missed that pot of the series I'll link the first one right there with Chris you can click it to watch 
Love you all so very much, and I'll see you next time.